Welcome back to Figure Depot. Today we're taking a look at the uh, electronic talking venom. Hey, I can really talk. That's kind of a silly call out, but yeah, it's a kid's toy. So what do you expect? This is Toy Biz, I think 1991. Let's look back here and see. Yes, 1991. We have this awesome card back um, featuring other figures from the line, like our Wolverine and several others. Um, I had almost every single one of these as a kid. I think the only ones I didn't have would be Thor, Hobgoblin, or Green Goblin, Punisher, Doctor Doom, Daredevil, and that's pretty much it. Oh, I didn't have Colossus ever, but I had all the rest. Um, but yeah, and I still have a bunch of these guys. Especially like the X-Men. I was very X-Men centric. But I always had to have Spidey and Hulk along for the ride. I loved my Silver Surfer figure. He was very cool. But anyway, enough about that. Uh, this figure was supposedly banned at one point by toy stores. Because parents called and complained. Because he said, I want to eat your brain. And die, Spider-Man, die. And yeah. He also hissed which was a button that I always found useless. Um, let's see if the buttons still work. No, no they do not. Oh, that one's like almost dry rotted. Yeah, so no longer worky bubbins, which I didn't expect them to because this was 100 million years ago. So, but anyway, uh, this was always my favorite uh, villain to play with. I love Venom. I, I was fascinated at the time by how muscular he was. Um, very, very cool to me. So I had started uh, weightlifting at a very young age. Uh, someone recommended it as an extracurricular activity to my mom for me. And so she took me to the, got a gym membership and I started lifting weights, which served me later when I played football for about three years. And then I got more interested in like the arts and uh, acting and doing, uh, writing music and stuff like that. So, but uh, I love my time playing football. But anyway, back to what we're talking about, it's Venom. So let's get him out of the package and get a closer look. One thing I'd like to note, this card back is massive. I did not remember these being so huge. You could, <laughs> you could put a standard Marvel Legends figure on a card back this size now and it would be fine to support it. Um, I really love the artwork on there, it's very cool. But yeah, it's a big boy. Getting a closer look at the figure. Real nice deco, except for the random white spot that I have to repaint. Um, face sculpt is nice. good paint on the teeth for a figure of this time um, you can see separation of the teeth and the tongue and the mouth so uh, not bad certainly for a figure from this era I really love the finger detail on the the fingers are like super detailed on the hand the sculpt on this is very very good in terms of anatomy on the arms especially um, it gets a little more stylized when you get to the rest of the body, those, <laughs> those calves are quite ginormous, but um, I always thought that was cool, so it didn't bother me. Just a good looking figure. Wish he had the spider on the back, but again, for a toy from this era, you know, more attention was given to the front of the of the, of the vehicles, of the figures, than the back, so. Just glad we got this detail. They could have just skimped out on that and made his whole arm uh, black. So, Toy Biz was always really pretty good about highlighting certain details that collectors or comic fans would find the most interesting, I think. You see that a lot in their paintwork on the later figures 
Um, it, you know, when they started doing Marvel Legends, we always got really nice paint work on those uh, first Marvel Legends figures from Toy Biz. It's a very cool figure. He came with this little spider webby thingy, which was always fun to play with. I'd throw them at Spider-Man and wrap him up in them. Um, and yeah, very, very cool figure. I once again loved the sculpt on this guy very very muscular you can see the two portholes for the voice changer on the back there and um, there was another version that utilized this buck also that um, had a hole here and slime would ooze out and then there was another version that um, had a hole here and you could put a water squirter in the back and water would shoot out the slime would just kind of dribble down and Pixel Dan's got a funny little video on review on that version of him that you can check out on his channel if you would like. I love the the detail we get that's accurate here with the little trapezoids there. And we get the spider on the front. We don't get the spider on the back, which makes me sad, but it's okay. Uh, this is still was my favorite figure growing up. And I never quite knew, like, he's kind of like a gorilla. Because his arms didn't have a bend at the elbow, and they were just, like, straight out. So, wasn't always sure how to pose him. He kind of looks like a defensive tackle getting ready to charge when the ball snapped. 42, 42, said hut. But anyway. Um, yeah, so these legs are good and tight. I'm just trying to be careful not to damage them. Um, it looks like he has, I don't know if this is paint rub or something's happening right here. I'm going to have to get some gloss, uh, black paint and go back and paint that up. It's kind of in an awkward spot, but yeah. Nostalgia feels all over the place. Just your basic seven points of articulation. We got a left and right swivel at the neck. We got your arms that just rotate 360. We got the leg joints that go up and down, and then we got our knee bend. So, good range on that knee bend, nice. But yeah, very, very cool figure, and uh, super stoked to finally have one of these back in my collection. Uh, let's do some size comparisons with some other figures from this era. There were two versions of the Wolverine. You had one with these retractable claws here that and put up inside and then you hit this little tab and his claws will shoot out and then he had a voice there was a version this one didn't come with a voice changer he also had a removable mask which i always loved you could see logan up under there and you could wear this as a ring on your finger which i always thought was cool so i would always wear it but um you had another version that mask did not come off and he had a voice changer like the Venom and he said I got claws I can use them and then he said a couple other things it's been so long I can't remember the other things that he said but um, I always loved playing with those two they would definitely fight each other quite frequently and then of course we got Kenner superpowers Batman which is the greatest figure ever made so and if you don't agree you're wrong we also have Beast and my favorite Wolverine to play with from that era because I always thought it was cool, his little battle damage. So uh, yeah, and Beast, wow. They nailed the sculpt on this Beast. It is fantastic. I loved the face sculpt. I loved the body sculpt. It was just awesome. We also have Apocalypse and Sabertooth which I loved playing with also. Yeah, I wore these two figures out. I had a couple different versions of Cable. I had like six or seven different versions of Cable. They put a different Cable out in like every X-Men wave. Um, I always liked these two because they were colored up in the blue and gold. So I really liked those, but I had the original version still have the original version somewhere um and i had the one that it was like an orange and blue armor and then there was a 
couple different more uh, other ones had like some space gear or something on one of them I can't remember but this one kind of had a Terminator vibe then we have Bishop and the Colossus I did have which was bigger and beefier than the other one really loved playing with this guy I think this was version 2. I don't think there was a, another version between the original release and this one. Next we have Silver Samurai and Iceman. And uh, I always loved this Iceman. I used to line my figures up. I could tell I was obsessed with football and comics. And I would use this guy to play me because I played defensive end. And I had a cowboy collar to protect my neck. And I always like thought this looked like a big pad like reminded me of my cowboy collar so when they'd line up to pass rush this would be me coming in but anywho I'm weird it's okay we also have Omega Red and Nightcrawler uh, very fun figures And from another show I loved as a kid, Darkwing Duck and Gosselin. I loved the Darkwing Duck line. I had all the vehicles like motorcycle with the sidecar and all kinds of stuff from that line. It is lost to time and my brother eating and destroying and tearing up some of them and some of what was left being sold off to pay bills and whatnot. But I still have... Uh, I've got Launchpad somewhere, and here I've got Gosselin and Darkwing. And of course, we cannot neglect the ladies of Marvel. We have Jean as Phoenix, Rogue, Jubilee, and we have Storm. For our last Toy Biz comparison, we have my favorite Gambit to play with, which this was a later release that was kind of beefed up with a, a better cloak the cloak that or trench coat that came on the first release was very very flimsy and wrinkled real bad and everything so when this one came out i was like yes and i always loved the hair on this one another crazy obsession with mine was long hair back then and i always thought this hairdo on this figure was so cool we also have cyclops and um, it's funny how bringing out all these toys is bringing out all my nostalgia feels. Sorry if I'm bombarding y'all with my weird memories. But I think he was in the same uh, wave as these guys. I'm gonna look on the back of the card again. Yep, there he is. Uh, he is, without knocking them all over, right there. Or, er, yeah, I think this is that one. Voice changer? No, this is not voice changer one. This is, I lied, it's this one with the little spaceship noodle underwater diving device thingy. And here he is with all my other Eddie Brock Venom figures. We have the 15 inch giant size, super size superheroes. And then we got the uh, Mafex on the end, Toy Biz that we're looking at right now. Then we got Movie Venom. Then we got our Marvel Legends first release, Eddie Brock. And then we've got uh, In the New Sculpts. It's not like the first one ever from Marvel Legends, but anyway. Then we got uh, Monster Venom. So lots of cool Venom figures here. Really loving this little guy lots of good memories with him he's one that I sold to help out with bills years ago so super stoked to have him back this thing is sick I'm gonna go in here and paint his mouth uh, his tongue red and the inside of his mouth so Stay tuned for that at some point on my Instagram. Speaking of Instagram, you can check out all my videos there. I uh, do, um, I'm sorry, all of my action figure photography there, all my custom work. And uh, of course, I've got other videos here on the channel if you'd like to see reviews of most of these guys you're looking at here right now. 
and uh, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Leave a comment below. Let me know, did you have this figure? Did you love playing with it? Um, what was your favorite Toy Biz Marvel action figure back in the day? And uh, all of that good stuff. We'll see you next time. And remember, we.